So uh, next we are going to study about molecular beam epitaxy. So it is one of the techniques to grow epitaxial films on a substrate. So first of all, um, water and it is a very uh, good technique uh, with a very low levels of uh, impurity. And uh, so first of all, what is epitaxial films? So the crystalline, if a crist the layer that is formed is crystalline and it has a well-defined orientation with respect to the substrate. So what it means? It means that if suppose that substrate is uh, 1, 1, 1, then the film will also be 1, 1, 1. If suppose the substrate uh, has an uh, orientation of 1, 0, 0, then the film will also be having the orientation of 1, 0, 0. It will not be randomly directed film. So that is why it is called epitaxial films. So um, such uh, and molecular beam epitaxy uh, films can be grown at very high vacuums, ultra high vacuums. And that means of the order of 10 to the power minus tor of uh, pressure will be there. So in order to get this pressure, the chamber um, will have rotary pump, diffusion pump, turbo molecular pumps. <clears throat> and here we are using most of the pumps are oil free pumps because um, so that oil doesn't enter the chamber. So at, at such very high vacuum, the mean free path will be about 10 meters. So it means um, the uh, atoms can travel about 10 meters without being uh, without colliding with the uh, ambient atmosphere so because there will be no ambient atmosphere because of this low pressure so uh, this is created inside this uh, chamber and after that only the deposition process takes place so uh, because of this 10 meters distance we actually work at around 30 centimeters so uh, it is a very good distance to work with so it means that we, we are sure that the atoms will not um, collide with any ambient atmosphere that is left in the uh, chamber and it will have more possibility of colliding with the surface of the chamber as compared to uh, any dust particles or um, mm, gaseous molecules. So, um, so first requirement is a very high ultra high vacuum in this chamber and uh, the substrate is actually kept on uh, heating uh, on a uh, substrate holder and it is heated and it is also rotated so, uh, so that uniform films can be uh, deposited. And these chambers actually here, they are called effusion cells and they contain uh, whatever material that is required to be deposited on the substrate. So for example, if you want to deposit gallium arsenide, so then you have a chamber of gallium, you have a chamber of arsenic, you have, uh, if you want to uh, dope it with aluminium, you have a chamber of aluminium. So you can also use other effusion cells to, with other dopants and you can uh, dope gallium arsenide with other dopants as well. So uh, you have these shutters on this effusion cell so that once you're done, you can quickly uh, close the shutters and no excess amount of material will be deposited. So it is very precise kind of a method. And it is heated by these uh, um, heating coils that are wound over uh, these effusion cells. And they are very precise effusion cells and temperature in these can be maintained to um, 0.1 degrees of accuracy. So, um, so in this, uh, so MB is very um, famous because of its slow, because of its controlled evaporation of a material. And it is a little bit of a very slow process. And high temperature facilitates mobility and lesser defects. So that is why the substrate is kept at a high temperature. Here we are using um, electrons are thrown um, on incident on the um, film so that we know uh, what is the thickness of the film and rotation of the substrate is also uh, takes place for uniformity high vacuum as we have discussed is required to minimize contamination very slow growth of around one monolayer per second takes place and this is because it will ensure that epitaxial growth is there so the flux density which is number of molecules per centimeter square per second falling on the substrate will be given by this relation where A will be the surface area, P is uh, the vapor pressure within the cell, T is the temperature, K is Boltzmann's constant, theta is the angle between the perpendicular to the surf surface and the angle at which the ions or the atoms are incident on the uh, substrate. While L is the dis distance between orifice and the substrate, so it is around 30 centimeter in our case. So yeah, this is a molecular beam epitaxy.